Recognizing the impact climate change continues to have on the agriculture sector, the Ministry of Agriculture is engaging farmers, input suppliers and extension officers on protective cultivation systems, which underscore the importance of ensuring climate smart agriculture. A Train the Trainers workshop in this respect was recently facilitated by the Food and Agricultural Organization at the National Stadium. The topics of focus covered cultivation in the greenhouse system and highlighted seedling production, irrigation, nutrition and pest and diseases management. Senior Agricultural Officer Lawrence St. Louis says protective culture systems is paramount to Grenada's food security and helps to address food challenges in a sustainable manner. Protected cultivation, growing in greenhouses, shade houses, tunnels, aquaponic and hydroponic systems provides us with the means to produce larger quantities of food of higher quality in areas where this may not have been previously possible, on smaller tracts of land and with less chemical interventions. This type of cultivation allows us to achieve optimal plant growth and to increase crop yields and crop quality. It also allows for us to grow and have crops available in periods when this would have not been seasonally possible. Due to the fact that the growing medium can be modified using these systems, they also allow us to produce in areas that would have been considered unfavorable. Facilitator FAO's Agriculture Officer Melvin Navarro focused on the changes to be made for greater efficiency in cultivation. We are in a tropical country where the high temperatures are mostly already around affecting also crop production. So that is the main challenge that I think we need to try to solve here. Uh, in the country because protected cultivation systems is actually going to increase even more the temperatures when you grow crops. Uh, but we are trying to find different technical solutions to, to, to decrease the temperatures and to be able to grow crops year-round, especially for those crops that are grow well under, um, uh, under medium uh, temperatures. Uh, so I, I think protective cultivation will also offer an opportunity to grow high value crop uh, in a relatively small area. Agronomist Kerry Ann Frank and farmer Derek Penny gave an account of what they learned at the session. The most important thing is that to adapt structures to our conditions because we, as we, right here we're a tropical country so it's very hot. So we need to make sure that we adapt it so that it reduces the temperature on the inside to give us more effective production. It's based also based on what we're seeing in the field here right now. Most of our structures, they retain a lot of heat, but it's possible to adapt it so that some of that heat is released so that it can lower the temperature on the inside. Something that was useful to, for me was the element of pruning and stages in which one should prune. Uh, in uh, certain crops. I'm about to go and plant one of the crops and the information is just timely because I was wondering why you know those particular plants were not doing as well as I wanted them to. So I gleaned information today that I can use tomorrow literally. <laughs> 